Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars and welcome to another top 10 list. Today's top 10 list is my top 10 favourite Bruce Willis films. Now I thought, um, over the last couple of years I've, I've crapped quite a lot on Bruce Willis. Uh, partly it's his fault because, well it's all his fault, because the films he's basically released over the last couple of years have been terrible and his performances have been not very good in many of them. I think the last film I enjoyed watching of his was probably Glass. Um, so I thought I would celebrate Bruce Willis films because it's easy to forget sometimes that he's actually made an awful lot of really, really fantastic films. Um, so I wanted to look back, uh, remind myself and hopefully you on a great career that Bruce Willis has had and you know hopefully he can uh, to some degree get back to where he was uh, in regards to his acting performances because some of these performances in some of these films I believe are really really top quality um, so yeah I hope you enjoy this list everybody as always there are some that don't quite make the list and the three that I wanted to talk about in regards to uh, Bruce Willis films are the first one is Looper um, the really really good science fiction film uh, with Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Bruce Willis both kind of playing each other it's like a time traveling science fiction film it's got Emily Blunt in it as well and it is very very good the next one is one that not many people talk about in regards to Bruce Willis and that is Last Man Standing Essentially it's a remake of A Fistful of Dollars, which I know is a remake of something else. Uh, but it's set like in uh, Prohibition times, like Gangster Era. And it's actually really good, directed by Walter Hill. Christopher Walken is in it. Uh, overlooked by many in regards to Bruce Willis films. And another one, I really like this film, Death Becomes Her. Um, the Bruce Willis comedy that he did in the 90s. I have done a classic film review on this film. I think this is another one that a lot of people forget about. Great performance by Bruce Willis and a really fun film. So coming in at number 10, Die Hard with a Vengeance. Um, a re I personally think this is uh, on par sometimes with my, uh, depending on my mood, I, it is my favourite Die Hard film is what I'm trying to say. Um, I know it's not a better film than obviously the first one. That one is such a groundbreaking film, but I just really like the story here and I like the chemistry between Bruce Willis and Samuel L. Jackson. Um, and it's just a great film, great bad guy as well with Jeremy Irons and the idea of them charging around the streets, disarming all these bombs. It's just a great, great diehard film personally. And probably the last great diehard film, uh, even though I didn't mind Die Hard 4, uh, to be fair. Coming in at number nine is Sin City, uh, the Robert Rodriguez film, it's the anthology film, I guess you could say, based on the Frank Miller book, uh, uh, graphic novels. I, I just absolutely, but this blew my mind when I saw it. And I know Bruce Willis is only part of this film, but he's he's great in this film, as is Mickey Rourke, obviously. But everybody in this film is really fantastic and it's it's filmed in such a way you've I'd never seen anything like this when I saw it. I just thought it was completely revolutionary. Blew my mind. It reminded me when I first saw The Matrix. I thought it was just a game changer, this film. And I just thought it was wonderful and I really just liked Bruce Willis's character in this film too. Coming in at number eight is Twelve Monkeys, the Terry Gilliam film. Um, the wonderful time traveling film it's a, it's a bit grim but it's a bit mad it's like a dark comedy at times as well uh, bruce willis uh, comes back in time to try and find clues about the army of the 12 monkeys that release this deadly virus that wipes out humanity um, i think at times in this bruce willis's performance is on par with the best he's ever been i really really enjoyed his performance here I've just watched it recently. I'm probably going to do a classic film review on this. Um, but Brad Pitt as well. Wow. Early, fairly early in his career and a wonderful performance by him. Coming in at number seven, The Last Boy Scout. Uh, I have done a classic film review, I believe, on this. Probably last year or the year before. Great overlooked film again by Bruce Willis with uh, Damon Wayans. Bruce Willis plays an ex-cop, a private eye. Um, who essentially is sent to protect Halle Berry doesn't ha doesn't work out. He ends up teaming up with Damon Williams to try and bring down 
this corrupt um, American football um, all of my yawns like football team I'm not describing it very well this film but trust me it's a really really cool film the action here is absolutely brilliant it's full on corny at times very very funny and definitely a great film coming in at number six Armageddon yes I know it's Michael Bay I know I am not a fan of Michael Bay however I do like this film uh, there are there are there are certainly cringy moments in this film there's no getting away with it but the cast is brilliant Bruce Willis's char charisma on the screen in this film is brilliant um, it ticks all the right boxes um, it's emotional when it needs to be it's action packed when it needs to be I remember the first time I watched this film I watched it immediately after I enjoyed it that much I just I really really like this film um, and for me a film should entertain you and I think this film is the very definition of entertainment even if you don't like Michael Bay coming in at number five Pulp Fiction well another anthology film I guess you could say what is there to say about Pulp Fiction that hasn't been said already already it's it is a masterpiece um, I thought it was probably quite brave to put Bruce Willis in this film because he, at the time he was a megastar uh, he didn't need the film and you could argue really that the film didn't really need him um, the standout performance here was obviously Samuel L. Jackson and John Travolta but I do think Bruce Willis's performance in this film was a little bit on uh, glossed over sometimes I think his character as the Xboxer is a really fun and interesting story um, so yeah great film coming in at number four the sci-fi classic the fifth element i think the luke besson film i think has it all it's 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 as mad as a box of frogs the visuals are absolutely staggering uh, gary oldman gives one of the most over top bad guy performances ever on a screen i don't buy the chemistry between bruce willis and uh, mila Jovovich. I always get that name wrong but despite those flaws it's absolutely brilliant this film the action is fantastic it's funny it's visually staggering to look at and I just I really really love this film even though there are certainly flaws in it coming in at number three the sixth sense um, Wow I think this film really put Bruce Willis on the map in regards to acting um, I don't think people kind of took him particularly seriously in regards to acting performances before this film. It was absolutely a smash hit. Um, the twist got everybody in this film. Um, it was a wonderfully well received film, started a lot of careers. Um, and I personally, I think it's a really, really great film. Um, with And the chemistry between Bruce Willis and the boy is just fantastic. Uh, a wonderful film with a great central performance by Bruce Willis. Coming in at number two, probably would have been many people's number one, and who could argue really? It's Die Hard. The film that really made Bruce Willis, uh, made him a megastar this film. I have explored this in a review uh, probably just a few weeks ago, I think. I did a classic film review on this film. Um, no surprises really. It's, it's, a, it's a near flawless film, this. Uh, a wonderful action film, very, very 80s, but still really watchable today. Bruce Willis's charisma absolutely steals the show. He's fantastic in this film. You can't imagine anybody playing uh, John McClane other than Bruce Willis. What is there else left to say on this film? My personal favourite Bruce Willis film is Unbreakable. I personally as well think this is his greatest on-screen performance. I love this story. This uh, We all know that it has gone on to a trilogy of films and I really enjoyed that. Um, Split and Glass, I think they all work wonderfully together. But this is my favourite of the three. Um, brilliant performance by Bruce Willis. Absolutely fantastic. There are times in this film you will watch his acting and you will realise, yeah, this guy can act. There are some very subtle acting moments in this film and I think it's a great great film and personally my favourite Bruce Willis film of all time so there you go guys 
that is my top 10 favorite Bruce Willis films uh, and I think there is adequate proof there with those 10 well say 10 13 films that Bruce Willis has indeed made an awful lot very very good films over the years with some great performances and I've really enjoyed looking back um, on his career to prepare for his top 10 list uh, it reminded me what how many great films he's done over the years and there are a few others that easily could have made this list as well so I'll be very interested guys if you'd let me know in the comments if there's any Bruce Willis films of yours favorites that didn't make this list um, and it is a bit of a shame that he's allowed himself to become like a bit part actor in B-movies. Um, even Nicolas Cage, you see him in these B-movies these days and he still tries. He still respects the acting craft, I suppose, is the best way to say it. Um, and I think it's unfortunate. I think it's clear that the passion has left Bruce Willis a little bit. Let's hope he refines his mojo and gets back to what he does best because I think it's clear over the years he's done some brilliant performances and some iconic films and we would all like to see him um, get back to some of that because i think he's still got an awful lot to offer uh, in regards to movie making so thanks for watching everybody i hope you enjoyed this list and i'll be back very much very soon should i say for more content on screen stars